Hello, I am Armstrong, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create a client VPN endpoint using certificate-based authentication. Let's get started. To authenticate the clients, you must generate server and client certificates as well as client keys and then upload them to AWS Certificate Manager. I'll be using an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance to generate the certificates and then upload to ACM. Follow the steps to generate the server and client certificates and keys and upload them to ACM. If you're using Linux, clone the OpenVPN Easy RSA repo to your local computer, then navigate to the Easy RSA folder. If you're using the Windows desktop, Download the latest release for Windows, unzip the folder, and then run the easyrsa start.bat file. Initialize a new PKI environment. Build a new certificate authority. Follow the prompt to build the CA. Generate the server certificate and key. Generate the client's certificate and key. In this example, user is client1. Be sure to replace client1 with the name of your user. Optionally, you can copy the server certificates and keys to a folder. For this video, I'll be copying the server certificates and keys to a folder. Follow these instructions to copy the certificates and keys to a folder. The following commands uses the AWS CLI to upload the client's certificates and key to ACM. Replace the region with the region where you intend to create the client's VPN endpoints. Log into the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the Certificates Manager Console to confirm the certificate is uploaded. Navigate to the VPC Management Console and choose the Client VPN Endpoint on the left navigation pane. Then, select Create Client VPN Endpoint. Then, use the uploaded certificates. When you create the Client VPN Endpoint, specify the Server Certificate ARN provided by ACM. You also must choose a Client IPv4 CIDR which is the IP address range assigned to the clients after the VPN is established. Note that the IP address range can't overlap with the VPC CIDR block. To use the client certificates, you must select mutual authentication and then select the client certificates. Optionally, you can enable client connection login with CloudWatch logs and specify custom DNS servers to be used by the clients. Also, you can select UDP or TCP as a transport protocol. You can also enable split tunnel to be sure that internet traffic is not going through the VPN. To enable clients to establish a VPN section, you must associate a target network with the client VPN endpoints. A target network is a subnet in a VPC once subnet association is enough for clients to assess a VPC's entire network, if authorization rules permit this. You can associate additional subnets to provide high availability if an availability zone goes down. To authorize clients to assess the VPC, create an authorization rule. The authorization rule specifies the clients that can assess the VPC. The final step is to download and prepare the client's VPN endpoint configuration file. Provide this file to the clients so that they can upload the configuration settings into their VPN client application. And this is how to create client VPN endpoints that uses certificate-based authentication by using EasyRSA 
to generate the certificates and uploading to AWS Certificates Manager. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Mm -hmm.